Creosote is a gummy, foul-smelling, corrosive, and extremely combustible substance that if no precautions are taken will coat the insides of everything that it passes through. By definition, creosote is simply unburned wood particles and condensed flue gases which, gas which deposit on the inside of your chimney. I'm Melissa from Northline Express and I'm going to introduce you to the creosote as well as its dangers. The creosote forms as the flue gases exit the fireplace or wood stove and draft upward into the relatively cold flue where condensation occurs and begins to solidify. This results in a carbon-based condensation that materializes inside the flue and becomes creosote. As creosote builds on the chimney's interior, it goes through stages and becomes more and more of a hazard as it goes through each stage. All stages of creosote can exist in one chimney and no matter if you have all or all, one or all three, it's going to be highly combustible. If it's allowed to build up in sufficient quantities and ignite inside the chimney flue, the result is a volcanic chimney fire that can eliminate or really damage your home with in a matter of minutes. Creosote buildup is also pretty sneaky. You may not even notice it at first, but it tends to feed on itself. As it builds up, it's going to restrict the flow of the chimney and stove pipe, and that's also going to slow the smoke on its way out, allowing more time for that smoke to cool in your, chi cool in your chimney and form that creosote. And that's going to deposit itself, thus further restricting the flow of your chimney, and that's how you see it feeds on itself and continues to become a worse condition. If you're not addressing the creosote buildup, it can quickly build to a point where it's dangerous to even do so. A chimney fire will occur when built up creosote deposits are ignited by extreme heat from the fireplace. For this to occur, it does require that the creosote be subjected to high temperatures of over 1000 degrees or so. Though 1000 or more degrees does seem a bit extreme, the following quote from the March 1990 Home and Hearth magazines puts it into a good perspective. Creosote buildup by itself or in combination with other factors was involved in 92% of chimney fires reported in a study commissioned by the Wood Heating Alliance. A buildup of a little as one eighth to a quarter inch of creosote is sufficient to create a fire hazard. The best way to prevent creosote buildup in your chimney is just that, prevention. The wood that you burn has a lot to do with the amount of creosote that you're going to see in your chimney. All firewood contains water in some degree. How much it contains is what's important. All the water contained in the wood as you burn it is going to turn into steam as that wood burns. That steam will then enter your chimney at temperatures around 212 degrees. And that's considerably cooler than the condensation point of creosote gases which is 250 degrees. That steam as it enters your chimney is going to cool the chimney. Those gases are going to condense and that's how creosote is formed. This is true whether you burn hardwoods or softwood. The moisture content is really all that matters and it's important that when you choose your firewood or you check your firewood before you start burning it that you check that the moisture content is between 15 and 20 percent for optimum firewood. Another way to prevent creosote buildup is to keep the chimney's temperature above 250 degrees all the way up. The warmer the walls of the chimney, the less the creosote can adhere to them. The stack temperature is also affected by the size and location of the chimney. If the chimney is on an exterior wall as opposed to an interior wall, it will constantly be subject to outside cooling effects. If the chimney is oversized, it's also going to require more heat to keep those surface walls warm due to the increased mass. With this thought in mind, you can see how a very large chimney that was never fully warmed up would have the potential to cause excessive creosote deposits. Burning wood, whether in a fireplace or wood burning appliance, offers many advantages to the homeowner, including the lure of heating with wood and the joys of stoking the fireplace and tending to the demands of your fire. By taking a couple of steps to keep your fireplace clean from creosote buildup, you'll enjoy all the benefits of natural wood fires without the risk of an unnecessary home or chimney fire. I hope you found this information from NorthlineExpress.com helpful. Keep watching our series on creosote. Next I'll be covering the different stages of creosote and what products we recommend to help eliminate that in your chimney.